G'day, welcome to the Tech Math Channel. What we're going to be having a look at in this video is we're going to be looking at about how to work out volume. Okay, so the volume is of a solid object is pretty much uh, volumes when we're talking about three dimensional objects. Okay, uh, you, they're dimension. You know, they're objects with one, two, three dimensions: a length, a width, and a depth. And basically, the volume of a solid is the amount of space that, that solid occupies. Okay, so. The way we measure this is in cubic units. So the amount of space, say, this particular rectangular prism here occupies. And we're going to be looking at how to work out the volume of rectangular prisms, such as these. Uh, also, triangular type prisms, as you'll see in a little bit, okay? These particular ones like this, as well as cylinders, okay? I'll give this one a bit of a height. Let's call this one 10 centimeters. We'll get back to you. Okay, so we're going to be looking at how to work out the amount of space each of these occupies. Um, so the way that we measure these, the volume of things, we measure these in cubic units. So for example, this is in centimetres. We would measure the volume of these in cubic centimetres. And what this is, if you can imagine a cube, and it's a cube that's a centimetre by a centimetre by a centimetre. Okay, um, so it's one by one by one. Okay. And it's a 3D little cube, and we would actually write this as, say, centimetres cubed. Okay, so just keep these in mind, because when we're doing two-dimensional objects, just area, we do this in, as you remember, we've got a length and a width, we do this in centimetres squared, and we do just distance, okay, in, say, centimetres. Okay, so this is a difference. We're doing, with this one, we're using these particular ones. Okay. So, let's launch straight into this. This is fairly easy. Now, the first thing I think you'd want to do with these is make sure all your units are the same, okay? So, they're all in centimetres, that's good. If they're not all in the same units, change them, so they are. Now, the next thing you want to do, obviously, identify the shape. This is a rectangular prism, okay? It's a rectangular box type shape, and you apply that sort of right formula. There's, there's two types of formulas you can use for these. First one, for a rectangular box, like there's a rectangular prism, you can use this one where the area equals the length times the width times the height or the depth or what do you want to call it and that would be in centimetres squared okay because it's one two three measurements alternatively you could also think about it a different way where you maybe you work this out like the area or the volume here maybe should I be saying or going right off the wrong track here I'm getting confusing myself the volume is equal to the area, okay, I'll say the difference, the volume's 3D shapes, areas are two-dimensional shapes, I'm making little mistakes here. Um, so if we were to know that this particular, say the area of this particular base part here, this 20 by 15, and we then could times this by the height. So occasionally if you know the area and you know the height, you can just use these. And this would give us the same sort of thing. So for instance, um, the area of this particular bottom part here, this particular shape here, it'd be 20 times 15, 20 times 15, um, I'll write down the bottom here, which will also be, you could also call, say, 300 centimetres squared. The same way we were given that, okay? Now, first off, we'll consider we weren't given this, I'm just going to do it as a standard way, we can go length times width times height. Now, the way that you can do this is as follows. First off, look, occasionally you might just be able to read these straight off and go, that's this by this by this, and that's fine. But I think I've, I've known students in the past to get stuck on these. And what I've recommended you do is this. If you're, you, you always get these muddled up, which one's which, and it doesn't really matter when you're doing this particular part. But if you are confused about it and you occasionally you get the same thing twice and you're going to end up with 15 times 8 times 8, which I've seen students do, in order not to get confused doing this, I'd usually go to a corner, okay, that's where you, where you go when you're naughty, eh? But um, the way you do this is you go to the corner of the shape here and you can read off each of the dimensions coming off it. So this one, this one, and this one, okay? And there are three different dimensions. So we have 20 centimetres times this one, 15 centimetres times this one, 8 centimetres. Okay, move that across a bit, running off the page. And if we were to multiply all these together, 
20 by 15 is 300 times 8 is 2400 centimeters there's one two three lots of units we're multiplying in here cubed and as we said before it's a 3d shape so that makes a lot of sense that that's going to be our answer okay so 2400 of these little cubes would fit into this if they were you know this this one centimeter by one centimeter by one centimeter okay the other way you can consider this sometimes is say you were already given the base you were given this base here okay i'll color it in you're given this base right here and we know that it's 300 and on top of that we're also given we're also given this height here okay now we're not given this and we're not given this the way that we can do this is as follows okay the volume is equal to the area times the height so we have the volume here uh, we have the area which is this is equal to 300 centimeters squared times the height eight centimeters not squared just eight centimeters okay so what do we get when we do this 300 centimeters squared times eight 300 times eight is 2400 and we're going to end up with uh, centimeters squared and we're times in centimeters so now we've got centimeters cubed okay so how'd you go with that all right okay hopefully you get this idea that you might be given uh where you might be given each one of these and you can work it that way or you might just be given the base and you get and the height and you can work it out that way but either way they're going to add to the end to the same sort of uh, answer so let's go down to this next particular question here i'll just roll back a bit so we can see it say you were asked to work at the volume of this how would you go about this now, the way that you go through and work out the volume of a um, triangular prism like this is as follows. If you were to know the area of this triangle here, you could work out that. And then you could just times in that depth there or that, that height, okay? Because it's the same sort of formula that we're using up here. The volume equals the area times the height. Okay, so we're going to use that same formula, the volume equals this area times the height we haven't been given the area we're going to work this out okay it's going to be the area of this particular triangular shape here okay so let's work this out how would you work this out so the area of the triangle is as follows okay so the area of this triangle and i'll get back to this formula and then we'll so the area is going to be half base times height okay which is the area of a triangle which is so the base is eight so half of that is four centimeters times the height which is six centimeters so the area is going to be four sixes for 24 centimeters squared okay so we've got the area here which is 24 centimeter squared I'll rewrite this out again the volume equals the area times the height this is going to be equal to 24 centimeters squared times the height which is this depth now it's going in okay times six centimeters you might say well what do we do with this 10 centimeters we don't need this measurement it's not going to help us here and we don't need it okay so 24 times 6 do you know the answer to that it's 144 144 centimeters cubed okay so do you get that idea all right um now you might straight away think well why can't we use this particular uh here as our area or this particular back one here the reason is because you sort of need to look at this shape and think if i was to keep pushing it and it would would it maintain that same sort of shape and you know this one here all these particular parts here are six centimeters so no, no matter how much we this, this is going to push all the way back to this triangle here okay 
Another way that you might work this out is you might actually work this out like a rectangle. You might go six or length, width by height. You can actually halve it and get the same answer. That's a bit of a trick as well. But I'm not going to get into that right now. So what about this particular last one where what we're going to do is we will work out the volume of this one. Now, the way that we do this is we're going to use that same sort of formula where the volume is equal to the area times the height. The area we're going to work out is our circle here, and then we're going to have a height. So let's work out the area of our circle. So let's do this. The area of our circle is equal to, what's the area of a circle? It's pi r squared, which is equal to pi times the radius, which is 4 times the radius, which is 4. Okay, so what's this going to be? I'll get up my uh, calculator. Uh, well, okay, so we have pi, which is, I'll move it to here, pi times 4 times 4 equals 50.265. Okay, so let's call this 50.27. Okay, so this is equal to 50.27 centimeters squared okay so again well, let's write down this formula again the volume equals the area times the height and this is equal to the area which is 50.27 centimeters squared times the height the height of this is 10 centimeters uh, this is a nice easy calculation okay 50.27 centimeters squared times 10 is 502 7. I'm just moving the decimal place centimeters cubed okay so hopefully you get the idea with this is how to work out volume okay so you can either I'll move this back up and we'll go have a quick look at it you can either go be going length times width times height okay and that that would be one way that you could work this out so where we're going this 20 okay because this is 20 centimeters uh, by 15 centimeters by 8 centimeters or you could just go this area times the height again this is triangle one we could go this we went this area times the height and same with these cylinders anyway i hope that was of some help to you uh anyway see you next time